What's up everybody, welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie, and today we're not actually gonna be talking about a pen or a tea, but instead we're gonna be talking about a waterproof notebook. Specifically, the Watershed All Weather Notebook Cartwell, Chartwell, something like that. Um, I think it was about seven or eight bucks. I could be wrong, um, but it's from Excompta, I think it's it's called, um, is like the, the overarching brand. Um, it's just kind of like a memo notepad, um, kind of like what, you know, journalists used to use back in the day. You can kind of flip it around and uh, it works really, really well. The front cover is kind of like a plastic, hard plastic. Makes sense if it's supposedly waterproof. Um, and so it does protect the front and the back as well is the same. It's a little bit harder actually on the back than the front. Um, you just flip over the cover and you can start writing. Uh, the pages are lined. Let's try and get in a little bit closer. The pages are lined. They're slightly green colored lines uh, and it's white paper. The back of the pages though are not. They're completely blank. Um, so if you you know, want both options, blank is there. If you're just wanting lines, um, then you only really can use the one side. Um, but I kind of like that one side's blank and one side isn't. Kind of gives you a nice kind of variety of choice. Um, so I went through and I tested out a whole bunch of pens and ink and all that kind of good stuff um, to see what it would be like. Uh, and for the most part, writing on this feels fantastic. It feels super smooth, like like ultra, ultra glass smooth. Um, the coating is insane. Um, it does alter the color a little bit of your ink. Like you're gonna notice in here, the shading that you'll get is just unheard of. Uh, way more even than Tomoe River. Uh, and the reason for that is because it's not absorbent at all. Like, this will not absorb ever. <laughs> Basically, it's waterproof. It's not supposed to. Now, the downside to that, though, means that the dry time is insane. Like, in order to get this stuff to dry, basically, I wrote... Um, a whole bunch of these, and I pretty much had to leave it overnight in order for it to dry, um, which is kind of crazy. Um, so you're gonna notice like on, on the Pilot Varsity here, this was overnight and I could still smear that a little bit. Most of the other ones dried okay, but that one definitely did not. Um, and then I tried some swatches here. So this is Noodler's Black, this is just done with a Q-tip. Um, and then this, even though you can't really tell my Q-tip writing, uh, this is Noodler's Black Swan and Australian Roses. Um, this didn't ever dry. Um, so the writing eventually did, but the swabs, eventually after a couple days, I had to pat it with um, paper towel and I still had some stuff show up on the back. Um, so... I don't know the, the, the practicality of this kind of a notebook. Um, what's cool is if you guys are like me um, and you get all your best ideas in the shower, uh, <laughs> I actually came up with the concept for this channel in the shower. Um, I actually have a note, a waterproof notepad in the shower. It just like hangs up on the wall. Not this one, obviously, but it's got like suction cups on the back that you just kind of like stick it to the wall. And then I have like a pencil that I just kind of write on. Um, so, cause if you're like me at all, you have like a brilliant idea in the shower. And then as soon as you get out of the shower, you forget about it. Um, so I'm just a nerd. I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't really see, uh, the main use of this to be honest, for, for most people um, in everyday life, just because it does take like hours and hours for things to dry. Uh, the pencil, if you write in pencil um, that I tried here, that dried right away. So you could uh, you could use that for sure. Uh, but I, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to, to wanna do anything for me. But either way, what I'm gonna do next is uh, flip the camera around and I'm gonna put some water on uh, this ink 
swatch here and just see. None of these really are waterproof inks, so I'm curious to see how that works out. But both of these ones supposedly are. Nuggler's Black is supposedly waterproof and the, um, the, the black portion of the black dye within this is supposedly waterproof also. Uh, so let's go test it out. So what I did was I dipped a Q-tip into some water um, just to, you know, get all that watery goodness. And then I smeared from the bottom of the page up to the top um, just to kind of get a broad stroke um, and see if any of the ink would come off. Clearly you can see that it has. Um, and then I took a bulb filler or whatever those suction cup things are um, and just put a bunch of dots of water all the way around it. This was for two reasons. One, so that I could test again more of the ink smear factor, uh, and two, it's a higher concentration of water to test the actual paper. Um, and as you can pretty much see already, even before I wipe it off, um, I'm just kind of shaking the water around, you know, mix up that ink. Um, as you can pretty much see, all the ink is, is pretty much coming right off. Um, so all of the non waterproof inks, they're gone, basically. You can't really read it. Um, the two things that stayed virtually untouched was the Sharpie and the Staples pencil, um, which also are the things that dried pretty quickly while using it as well. Um, so definitely you would want either a Sharpie or a pencil. Um, all of these inks, the Bung Box Sweet Potato kind of worked, but not really. Um, so definitely you would not want to use a, a run-of-the-mill uh, kind of ink here. Then what I wanted to test was the exact same thing, both the Q-tip and the water droplet method uh, on here. Now I was really curious to see how this would work because this ink is permanent, however, it's only permanent when it can soak into paper. This notebook is completely waterproof. You cannot get the ink to soak into the paper like you can normally. So I was curious to see if any of the waterproof uh, like properties would stay or whether it would all smear away. Um, and as you're about to see in a second, you know, spoiler, it all smears away. Uh, Noodler's Black sort of stays, um, but the Noodler's Black Swan and Australian Roses completely went away because it just wasn't able to soak into any celluloid paper or anything like that. Um, so basically, end of the day, I would not recommend this notebook for very many people. Uh, certainly not fountain pen users. Um, I would recommend it if you, you know, used Sharpies or state uh, pencils, you know, fairly regularly, um, or again, for shower purposes. <laughs> um, but, you know, the mass market of of fountain pen users, no, I would not recommend it. But that's going to be it. So uh, hit that subscribe, hit that like, and uh, guys, I will see you next time. Bye.